Oh, good to see you again. Thank You're you. fine. Thank you. I'm well, and you? You're fine. Oh, that's reassuring. You make me sound so stable. Because you're fine. <laughs> Much better now, yes. You're fine? You really think so? I try to look after myself. I work out, take supplements, I try and get enough sleep. Oh, good. Well, then you're fine. <laughs> that's great. I'm fine. And how are you? I'm good, and you're fine? <laughs> yes. Fine art. He told me that to him, I was fine art. It's possibly the nicest thing that anyone has ever said to me. Oh. Well, then you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy moments of profound peace sometimes, as if I was communing with God. Well, uh, God says you're fine, so... Yeah. <laughs> fine as I mean, fine as itsy bitsy teeny weeny fine little dots made with a bill print pen, depicting us through a waterfall as a fantastic alternate reality. <laughs> yes, you're fine. <laughs> You mean for making an illegal U-turn? It's been paid. I paid it, done, sorted. Oh, how long do I have to be reminded of this? You don't. You're fine. <laughs> Funny right now. I don't feel fine. But take it till you make it, right? That's right. But you're fine anyway, so. <laughs> yes. Fine. That's just fine. I'm fine. Okay. Gotcha. You're fine. Really? <sighs> There's a repetition in nature. Patterns that repeat and repeat. You are fine. You are fine. <sighs> yes, refinement. Permission, please. Thank you, man of count. Really? You are fine. Okay. You're fine. I have enough. I'm not getting surprised. No, you're not. You're fine. It's idiomatic, like fine wine, fine feather fruits. Yes, you're fine. Fine finality. How can there be a final solution and an effort universe? The universe says you're fine. <laughs> really? Yes. Thick, not fine. I'm not thick, I'm thick, stupid. I heard you the first time! You're not thick, you're fine! No, 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 I'm not. Not as long as I'm here having to listen to the same shit over and over again. This is getting really irritating. I stopped responding to the context of what you are saying. You're fine? I said shut up! You're fine! C to the O to the P to the E. I can't cope with you if you can't cope with me. F to the I to the N to the E. You are fine. I'm not fine, damn it. Not as long as I'm trapped here listening to the same shit over and over again. This is getting really irritating. You're like a broken traffic light. You're fine. <sighs> no, I'm not fine. You're not fine. I'm fine. You're fine too. I know I am, but what are you? You're not fine at all. Why don't you, why don't you go and quest to recover the remains of your broken soul? What? You're fine. Can you just stop? Just control yourself. You have a mind, you have a will. Just stop. You're fine. Security, security, someone got security, please. You're fine. Oh, God, God, God. You're fine. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, please keep that applause going and welcome to the stage the very wonderful, lovely and very talented comedian Penny Ashton! Thank you very much. Hello everybody! Hello! I'm, I'm just going to move this out of the way before we start. Just push that back there. Hello everybody. Now I'm going to bring a slightly different angle to proceedings tonight. Uh, I do have something a bit wrong in my head, but I'm a little different and that's that I'm epileptic. Yay! Do we have any other epileptics in the house? Just shut over here. Oh, bollocks, we're everywhere. Hi. Isn't that exciting? I don't know about you, I was diagnosed when I was 16, uh, and I was actually in school assembly. Hooray! Had a nice big fit in school assembly. Um, and, and I got um, diagnosed and given some pills that were called Tegretol Retard. <laughs> That's always fun when you're 16. These are your retarded medication. Uh, it does mean, of course, that I'm allowed to make jokes about it. Um, like, what do you call an epileptic in a tree? Russell. <laughs> what do you call an epileptic wrapped in lettuce? A seizure salad. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I'll be leaving it for a minute, you can relax. 
<laughs> Thank you, one person. Yes. Um, yes, but look at here. Oh, excuse me, family friendly. Um, Anyway, so yes, this was, it was all quite full on. I started taking the Tegretol retard, uh, which does mean slow release, by the way, if you're curious. Um, but then I didn't realise that this medication actually made me put on a whole lot of weight. But I didn't realise that that's what that was happening for about 16 years. And I kept trying to diet. I oh, know, that's just funny, but it's actually true. Um, I kept trying to diet and lose weight, and I couldn't. And, and I had to give up on my dreams of being a ballerina. Aww. I know. Do we have any other be wannabe ballerinas in the house? Yeah, I know, you can just feel the pain when people say that, yeah. I don't know about you, but these sort of didn't really help. <laughs> the medication didn't have much to do with these, uh, but you're supposed, to, you're supposed to stop moving when you do, and, and mine don't. Uh, and then I thought, well, I won't be a ballerina, I'll be a, an actress, because that doesn't rely on body image at all. <laughs> exactly. So I move up to Auckland, I get myself an acting agent. Now, some of you are probably going, how do we know her? I'll clarify that for you. It'll be from my three episodes on Shortland Street in the year 2000. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. That's right. I was Dr. Margaret Cole, obstetrician gynecologist. So this was me. I'll just warm that up for you there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that whole thing. But my first audition for Shortland Street, they were like, now we want you to be this boring dancing doctor, the uh, nurse, that this doctor, he doesn't want to dance with you because you're too fat. You'll be great. I know, oh, it's alright, you can laugh, I'm over it now. Um, but the best audition I ever got, they were like, now we want you to do gymnastics on a beam. Okay, I can do that, I was going to be a ballerina. Then I found out that the ad was for reinforced wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it didn't break. Uh, but I didn't actually get that ad, thank Christ. Uh, but anyway, so you can imagine that all these can get to a girl, but then after about 16 years, I... I found out that the Tegretol can make people put on weight. Uh, so I changed my medication to one called Lamotrigine. Uh, and, and then you see the spelled Naomi Campbell lookalike in front of you now. <laughs> 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 right, yeah, thank you. Uh, but I did lose some weight. So it's always good to sort of test out the different medications and think about things uh, that way. Uh, so that's my little public service announcement. I have another one, and that is um, Durex. Make a, bra a brand of condoms called the Pleasure Max Condom. Now, apparently a Pleasure Max condom has a lot of dots and ridges on the condom. And on the packet, it's supposed to be like a strobe, because apparently when you have an orgasm with Pleasure Max condoms, it's like seeing strobes. <laughs> so, Madam down the front, Sue over there, you should avoid the Pleasure Max condoms. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, it might be more entertaining for the other person if you start going like this sort of halfway through. <laughs> but, you know, you might bite off something that you weren't supposed to, so <laughs> just be careful. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, I'm going to finish now, I'm going to finish now, because I have been inspired by this whole thing to become a rapper. Yo, as you can tell. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be called MC Epi. Uh, and this is my epileptic rap, so take it away out there, please. Feel free to start down.